All right, I want to deal with the topic entitled, Keep Your Post. Keep your post. All right, Matthew 24, 43, it says this. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Okay? If the master of the house knew when the thief was coming, he would have stood watch and he would have stopped his house from being broken into. Now, that scripture is particularly talking about the end times when you don't know the time or the season and whatever. And that Satan is coming in a time that you're not ready. But listen to me. This is speaking about you keeping your post and looking after your house. If you're a master of your house, if you're the master of an area, what do I mean by that? If you are born again, you carry the highest authority. You carry that authority to enforce it. Now, I want to ask you this. Are you looking after your area? Are you checking on your post? Are you checking and seeing that everything is secure and protected? Are you keeping a vigilant eye on what's going on in your suburb? A vigilant eye on what's going on in your neighborhood? A vigilant eye on what's going on at work? Are there things that are shifting? Are there things that are abnormal? Are there things that should be uh, happening that are not happening? All right? So I want us to genuinely consider that today. Are you on your post? Because like the word says, if the master knew the time, he would be on his post. I want to tell you right now, we know the time that while we are on this earth, we are responsible. All right? We are responsible to restrict every evil work on this planet. And if we do that spiritually, because we carry the highest authority, and remember this, the only way that evil presides or has all its way is when we don't do anything. You know that famous state, statement, the only way that evil do it is when good men do nothing. All right? But remember this, in the spirit, it's exactly the same. If you do not enforce the spiritual victory that has been given us, we are going to allow a lot of demonic activity that should not be happening. And so I want us to know that we are responsible. You are responsible for your post. You are responsible for your household. You are responsible for your neighborhood. You are responsible for your workplace. And if every one of us did this, we would see the power, the anointing, and the peace of God resting in our areas. And we will see God do something supernatural for each one of us. And so my question today is this. Are you on your post? Are you on your post? Are you ready to do what God has called you to do? Are you keeping tabs that when things shift, that you go straight into warfare and start binding, restricting what the devil has and releasing God's word? Releasing the word, releasing peace, releasing life. Remember this, our focus is life. Our focus is not the battle. I need you to understand this. It's not years and months and sweat and trial. It's not like that at all. God's battle is not taking forever. It's literally one word out of your mouth. And the devil has got to listen. One word released. The scripture released out of your mouth and the devil has got to obey. So I want you to understand our post is to keep the ground that God has called us to. Our post is to release life every single day over the area that we are in. And every, as we do this, we are raising a spiritual level across our nation. And we are going to see the blessing of God come onto this nation like we've never seen before. So this morning, as we take communion, I want you to report for duty and say, God, I'm sorry if I've neglected my post. I understand it's easy to neglect it. We get busy. We're busy trying to, um, you know, do whatever we need to do to make ends meet and catch up at work. I understand that life is life. But if we bring it into the spiritual, that life will become easier. Listen to me. 
If we bring it into the spiritual, that life won't become easier. And so we need to take responsibility for what God has called us to do. We need to take responsibility for what God is expecting from us. And so on the night that Jesus betrayed, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take it in remembrance of me. He took the cup. He said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical, emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection, and provision. So right now, when we come around the table, let us celebrate the price that was paid for us, but let us report for duty in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask you please to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, action, motive, intention. Lord, I ask you please right now that to wash us white as snow and as we stand holy and righteous before you in Jesus' name. And Lord, right now I thank you that you'll forgive us for every wrong thought, for every wrong action, Lord, or neglect where we've been, where we have not stood our post. Lord, where we have just got into the world things and got busy and not done what you've asked us to do. Lord, I ask you right now to forgive us for that. But Lord, right now we report for duty. And we say once again, we stand ready to protect our areas in Jesus' name. Lord, we are going to pray over our suburbs. Lord, we are going to pray over our area. We are going to release the anointing and blessing and power of God over our area in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray right now that as we take of the elements, Lord, that we will recognize and understand the power that's at our disposal. Lord, I pray that you'll make yourself so real to us. Thank you, Lord, for paying the price. Jesus, I thank you for paying that price so that we could have the victory in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Lord, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you. Lord, we release the dunamis power of God over our physical bodies. I command every form of sickness to leave us in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that the Spirit of God that dwells inside of us quicken our mortal bodies. I thank you, Lord, that by your stripes we were healed. Lord, I thank you that we walk in might and power and victory in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord, that not one sign of sickness is in our body. In Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that we are healed by the power of God. We walk in divine health and divine healing. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, saints, I'm so, so excited. All right. So I want to let you know quickly um, two things. Okay. We are going to be praying over Durban. And I'll let you know what happened there last night. Okay. We are going to be praying over that situation. But right now, I want to let you know that uh, this weekend, I'm going to be um, in Pretoria for a meet and greet, Friday and Saturday night. Friday night, um, I think it's at the Olympus uh, Estate that we're going to be in Pretoria East. All right, please go and have a look. We will contact you. If you are coming on Friday evening, please, or Saturday evening, go to fathersart.co.za and just register so that we can contact you directly um, with the uh, details, all right? We also need to just give your name at the gate for security so that you could get into the estate. We're going to be at the clubhouse on Friday evening at the Olympic, Olympus um, estate. And uh, we will contact you directly. We'll tell you uh, what's, what's going on there. And then we're going to be at a school on Saturday at the clubhouse at the school. All right. So please just go to fathersart.co.za and book your spot. All right. I'm so excited to be there. Okay. Remember this? This is... Bring your stuff, camp chair, kit bag, uh, cooler bag, you know, some drinks. If you want coffee, bring a flask. All right, bring it with, and we're going to share it together, and it's going to be absolutely awesome and amazing time. I'm so excited about this. All right, okay, it's Olympic East, Olympus East. Okay, that's where we're going to be. Okay, so uh, we are going to send you the details. Um, if you've registered, we'll personally be in touch with you. Make sure that you've got all of the details. So please just register, bring whoever, doesn't matter who, okay, doesn't matter what church, doesn't matter, just bring people who want to get on fire for God, and we're going to just, I'm going to be there and see what we can do, just encourage you, bold you up and get you going, amen. 
All right, then I want to say the fire conference is coming up at the end of the month. All right, and I want to tell you what this is about. I'm going to, there are different levels in the spirit that we're pushing. Okay, different levels that we go to. All right, the first level is gifting and power. All right, this is where we operate in power. And that's what I've been doing with a lot of the, the fire conferences. This, this particular fire conference, I want to see if we can't go up to the next level. The next level is presence. All right, and I'll have to exp let you experience it. I can't demonstrate it yet. All right, so the focus of this camp is to take us one step higher. All right, so I want to ask you, if you want to carry a level of an anointing, if you want to really carry the power, I want to encourage you to be there. All right, and help us get people there. If they can't afford it, let's pay for them. Let's get them there. Because we want to see God move. And I'm going to trust God. I'm going to bring us up to a new level in the, in the Spirit of God so that we understand this. It's going to be an amazing time with God. People have asked, okay, can we still come as a day visitor? Yes, you can, okay? I think it's 80 Rand a day. All right, if you want to come for the day visitor, that the camp's going to charge us. But please, I'm not looking for day visitors just to come. I'm looking for people to walk this experience with us. All right, to go through this of the six sessions where we under the anointing, getting to heavier levels so that we could see the power of God. And we are trusting God for supernatural miracles and supernatural healings to take place. So please get ready for that. It's going to be an absolute amazing time. All right. Then I've got some really good news. Look what I have in my hand. All right. I've got the book of our next volume two of our um, uh, communion, the 365 communion, right? This is a soft cover. Okay. I'm going to let you into a secret of what's going to be happening. All right. We are going to be giving for three, 350 Rand is our hardcover, which you can get directly from us from DrArthurFrost.com. And you can pre-order those books for Christmas, okay? But what we are going to be doing very soon, all right, probably um, from next month, we are going to go and launch on the platform of Take A Lot as well. The reason for that is, is that it becomes international. And if you want a soft cover, you can get the soft cover from Take A Lot, okay? So we're going to be going on to Take A Lot very soon um, for those who want to do it. And then just remember that you just get it a bit uh, cheaper if you go to DrArthurFrost.com. Okay, but you're welcome to use Take A Lot. If you do a lot of orders, they'll do your, your delivery and that for free. Okay, so you're welcome to use whichever platform you want. Okay, but that's where we are at. And so I'm trusting God that this is going to make a big difference. All right, I've been going through the, the topics again. And I'm telling you what, there is good, good teaching here. All right, it is one of the best Christmas gifts that you can give somebody. And I want to say this very emphatically, okay? Um, sorry, the 350 is not for the soft cover, all right? The 350 is for the hard cover that you get from DrArthurFrost.com. So please go there. You can already pre-order your books, all right? By the end of the month, we will be then shipping them out. I will have some books at the fire conference, all right, so I'm making sure that I've got some books. All right, and I'll also sign those books, okay? So uh, if anybody wants a book for Christmas uh, to send out and you want me to sign it, I'll sign all the books there. All right, so I want you to know, we, don't, we do not make money on these books. The idea of this thing is not to make money. Whatever comes in, we put into the next book, okay? I have not taken one cent for myself. I want you to understand. This is about getting the word out. And if people can't afford it, I then sponsor books and give away. Okay, so I'm telling you now, this is about getting the word out. So please, I want you to get ready over this because I know that it makes a difference in people's lives. We're getting the word into people's hands. Amen. All right, so we are going to pray. All right, last night, uh, a very unusual thing happened in Durban. They had a weather phenomena, and I don't know what they call the thing. Okay, something that most of them have never seen before. Um, it was gale force winds with heat. And on top of that, 
They also had one of their major substations blow up and nearly 50% of Durban was out of power. Now, we are going to pray. All right? I'm going to pray right now in Jesus' mighty name that God is going to do something supernatural in Durban area. They are constantly under these weird things that happen in this, in this province. And we are going to pray right now in Jesus' name. And we are going to pray that God is going to do something supernatural. From what I hear, the, the power is being restored quite quickly. All right, and the guys are really um, busy just getting it back up. And I want to just commend the guys that are working so hard to get the electricity back up. But let's pray. All right. There is something still being attracted to Durban area. We need to break this thing in Jesus name. Lord, we come before you this morning. We pray over Durban. Lord, I bind this demonic thing that's trying to constantly attack KwaZulu-Natal. Lord, I cut it off in Jesus mighty name. Lord, I thank you right now for those that are, that are busy restoring the electricity. But God, I pray for a supernatural shift over this province in Jesus name. Lord, I pray right now that you are going to just help all of those people. Lord, the informal settlements that have been hurt and damaged again with roofs gone and all sorts of devastation. Father, I pray your mercy over this area in Jesus' mighty name. I command every demonic influence to be restricted in Jesus' mighty name. I thank you, Lord, that you're going to do something supernatural by the power of God. And Lord, I pray your peace over this area. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, that you are going to do something supernatural in Jesus' name. And Lord, right now, I pray over our nation. Lord, I restrict every demonic uh, curse, concentration, thought. Lord, focus on our nation in Jesus' name. Anything that has been loosed, Lord, in the last 24 hours over our nation, I restrict it in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we release it, the blessing, the power, the anointing. Lord, we release life and prosperity over our nation. Father, I thank you, Lord, that our nation is blessed, that our nation is prosperous. Lord, that every prophetic word that has been spoken of our nation will come to pass. We speak life and abundance in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that each and every one of us will stand in the fullness of what you have for us. Lord, I pray over the economy of South Africa that the economy will be blessed. And Lord, we will go against what everybody is anticipating that we will be downgraded and all of these negative words. I come against those words in Jesus' name. I thank you, God, that our nation will be prosperous in Jesus name we speak life over our nation we speak destiny over our nation we speak purpose over our nation and Lord I thank you right now that our rand dollar will improve Lord that our rand will get stronger in Jesus mighty name Lord we release the power of God and we release life we release destiny and purpose in Jesus name Lord, I thank you right now that you are going to do a supernatural work in and through each one of us. Lord, that we are not going to be the same again. Lord, that we are going to go into new levels of authority, of power, and demonstration of your will in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that we can restrict everything that Satan has tried and will try over our nation. Father, I thank you for the umbrella that the body of Christ is creating over our nation. Lord, I thank you for life and blessing in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right. Guys, I want to just say um, that we are busy uh, editing our, um, our COVID story, the testimonies of what happened in COVID. I want to say that it's absolutely amazing when I read some of those testimonies. Okay, so I want to tell you that we're nearly, nearly ready with that one. So I want you to get ready. We're also going to be releasing that very soon. All right, so let's get into our declaration. Remember this, that it's Wednesday night. It's our digital Zoom meeting tonight. All right, our digital uh, home fellowship group at 7 o'clock tonight. So please get ready for that. Okay, 
and then also all those that are meeting all over the nation please get to your small groups let's get ourselves equipped in jesus name amen all right let's go in jesus name i declare by faith that i walk in divine favor i have preferential treatment supernatural increase restoration increased assets great victories recognition prominence petitions granted policies and rules changed battles won that i did not have to fight all because of the blessing and the favor of god on my life so i want you to go out with might i want you to go out with valor release life release blessing and remember keep your atmosphere open in jesus name